from the toolbar select this text tool and here write the logo title now let's change the font from here I'm choosing Franklin Gothic this is a free font you can download from the Google search now go to object and break artistic so we separated each of the text now by using ellipse tool here we created an ellipse like this so if you click once over this ellipse you'll find this option to skew and you can shear the shape like this so place the shape nicely by dragging it from the both sides now select it go to edit copy edit and paste now drag the shape here so this way you need to drag it and make the perfect shape So here I'm making one more copy paste and I'm placing it here. Now select this one and this one is in shift key and drag it and place it here. From here choose this fill color and fill it. So we made a shape and delete this one. Now take this one inside and again drag it and make another shape drag this one little inside this one towards inside just drag it little outside now select both using shift key take this fill color and fill it now select this one and this one using shift key drag it and place over the X let's delete those let's make some gap in between so here I'm increasing the gap little more now select this one and remove the outline similarly select this one and remove the outline from here now take this pen tool and here draw a diagonal and from here another diagonal by following the path of X now select this and let's keep some outline from here which will help us to create gap in between after giving outline we need to expand it so go to object and create outlines now do multiple selection using shift key and take fill color and just click over this now select this and delete it select it and delete it and remove this outline delete this one 
similarly by using pen tool here also we'll make boundaries and here another boundary now select the shape take this fill color and here make a shape delete this one delete this one and this one now remove the outline of the shape from here now let's change the color of the logo after selection of this click over this option and here is a gradient option click over this gradient fill and in gradient here you can see the color box just click over this and change the color you can choose any color now click over the second box and change the color now let's change the color for other elements you can do multiple selections using shift key and from here directly you can change color now select this and this and change the color from here you can choose the color now go to file export and here choose PNG and we'll save this logo in PNG 24 transparent so that we can apply it for the 3d in Photoshop so here you can see the transparency marked and OK so after saving your logo in PNG transparent now you need to open the Photoshop software in Photoshop open your logo that you just now saved from Corel draw after opening your logo in Photoshop now you need to open mocha file if you don't have the mocha file then you can check the video description So double click at the top layer of the mockup and now drag our transparent logo over the new tab of the mockup and leave it here. You can drag your logo and make the size little bigger so that it can place nicely at the center. Mark it, unmark this mockup background, close the tab, yes, and wait for the mockup to be applied. Once mockup will process to your logo, here you can see the realistic 3D view of your logo will appear here. So this is the first tutorial in Corel Draw. I'll upload more videos in upcoming days. You can subscribe us and remain updated. Thank you.